Hello dear heart. And welcome to this video where I will just introduce to you something that I have noticed when I came into this realm of fascia and seeing all other things through this. Energy codes, breathwork, mudras, fascia re restoration or restructuring, all of these things came together in this beautiful pattern for me. Now, when we look at mudras, mudras activate certain pathways or shortcuts to our psyche through the body. Imagine that your psyche is a house filled with different rooms and different aspects of your person personality, personal reality. The awareness is lifting the roof of the house. Imagine that it's a giant and it's looking at a small house on the table in front of it. And now you can see within your psyche the different rooms that's available there. When we hold a specific mudra, the electricity in our nervous system, the biophoton or light energy traveling through our fascia system is converging. Converging meaning like two streams coming and flowing into one another. And that gets transferred into the fourth dimensional plane, which is our psyche. So when a sound wave of a sufficiently interesting and intense causes a gaseous capacity of liquid to collapse quickly, it can produce light through the phenomena known as sonoluminescence. This occurs when a bubble is formed in a cavity, in, in like a cavity, and it inter interacts with an ultrasonic wave emitting a burst of light and no one knows why. I've experienced this directly within my body too. And the electricity controls the heartbeat of the body. In other words, the nervous system determines the HRV of the body. The heart is the loudest sound organ or sound producer in the body, thus creating hertz or frequency within the body, a sound wave. And when these two meet, as well as the frequency hertz of your brain waves and maybe even your own internal voice by humming or making certain sounds, these two create a new dimension and light will be activated. Biophotons, DNA light activation, awareness, enlightenment in different parts of your body. Again, the mind-body connection restored completely integrated into this meat vessel as your soulful self. So awakening sovereign potential is in this human form. It's not out there somewhere. The true meaning of esoteric means deeper within. There is nothing to find out there. It's just a projection of our mind. So when we get to know our vehicle and our vessel better, and we inhabit more of this vessel, our soulful self, our light of awareness, it doesn't matter what name you want to give it or what name resonates with you really, but embodying that enlightenment more and deeper into all facets and aspects of your body, that's where it's at. A lot of people talk about spiritual bypassing. I want to talk about human bypassing. We are here to feel and experience what eternity is like to be and ch to be channeled through a finite form. Because the infinity is still found in this finite form. So there was this process revealed to me through certain breastwork techniques, fascia work, regulating the nervous system, certain movements, certain sounds in this beautiful ceremonial journey. And through that, literally enlightening higher frequencies of consciousness started traveling through this body and giving experiences of awakening, for a lack of better words. So if you want to know more about this, let me know. I am so excited to share this with others, not because I want anyone else to experience what I experienced or to understand what I've experienced. It's like finding something that's really yummy and really delicious in your life 
the natural impulse and instinct for me is sharing that with others. So thank you for listening. Until next time.